What's good, we're getting mad here, country song and teacher. I hope you're doing well. God's doing huge things in your life. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again over and over. When you begin learning this instrument, probably the most challenging thing is going to be strumming. Your brain has to teach your hand and wrist and fingers what to do and how to not hit too many strings, how not to hit them too hard, how not to hit them too soft, that kind of thing. So learning that timing, that kind of rhythm is always going to be your toughest challenge. If you struggle with that right now, hey, get a t-shirt. Go join the team. We got t-shirts, right? Um, I want to show you a few tips that can kind of help you kind of ease the pain that your fingers probably hurt right now if you're just starting out. But when you learn this little trick, it's going to make a big difference in your playing. Like I said, it had a big impact on me. Let me do a shameless plug too. So many of y'all, I beg y'all to do this. Do you and I both a favor. I have over an hour and a half long DVD. If you go to countrysongteacher.com, countrysongteacher.com, as soon as you scroll down, you'll see my four chord song book. That's 40 songs that use G, C, E minor, and D. But very next, you'll see the digital ultimate strumming DVD. 15 bucks, guys, it's cheaper than the cost of one lesson. It's over an hour and a half long DVD. It just goes over strumming. So when people always ask me questions about that, I'm like, please help me out, help you out. Go get the DVD. It's an hour and a half long, just about strumming. And I promise you, after you watch all those different chapters that it took me a long time to record, you're going to be better and know, okay, it's going to click and know what to do. One of the things I talk about is the angle of the pick. That's what we're going to talk about this, for a better flow. Now, many times when I used to teach uh, kids and adults in person, the strumming would start out... <laughs> So choppy because what they're doing, your pick is straight up and down, and when it's hitting those strings, it's it's a really hard kind of uh, what's what I'm looking for, kind of a really rough boom sound as a beginner. What you got to do, you got to learn that flexibility in your wrist. Your wrist is going up and down, so you're to hold the pick. This is one of my acoustic selection picks. Something comes straight across. I also recommend if you're a beginner, make sure your, your pick is kind of flimsy. Don't get too stiff of a pick when you're starting out. If you're doing a lot of fancy picking things, you might want a thicker pick, but get a flimsier pick. Take your thumb straight across the, the, the widest part and then bring your first finger back behind it. So you're going to hold the pick like right there. Straight across. Now, one of the things you want to do when you're on those down strums, have your pick pointing up towards you. So you're... It's a very easy, it rakes down the strings very easy. And also going to give you a very clear sound. So obviously, you know, if that's going to give you a clear sound, having the pick pointed up, lightly taking this pick down on the down strums, you can, you can obviously guess you need to adjust your wrist and have the pick pointing down on the up strums. And so the, the, the first strumming pattern I always recommend for beginners is down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's the first. If you just start learning guitar, you know maybe a couple chords, G and C or D or whatever. Uh, the way I play those, locking the two bottom strings, fifth and sixth. That's a great pattern to work on between your G, C, and D chord. Do that pattern with each one of those. That's what I always recommend for beginners. And don't worry so much about going fast to your next chord. Worry about a smooth sound on that one chord. So remember, music's all about a rhythm and a timing and a flow. So don't concentrate so much on going fast and trying to get too advanced too fast. Make sure you do that. And you can see there how easy I do those chord changes too. Again, a lot of people times, a lot of times people write me and say, Matt, that's not how I learned the C chord and so forth. It's really called a C add nine. But you can see how easy the flow is. And I can play, like I said, thousands of songs like this. By locking those two bottom strings at your third fret, you stabilize your guitar. And you go fifth to the second fret. And six, a G is all six strings. But on the up strum, just strum the bottom like three. So every time you do a down strum, strum all six 
on the up strum, maybe the bottom two or three is going to be pointed up. Move your top two fingers simply down to the fifth and fourth, and you want to work on not hitting that top string. It's just the bottom five. Back to G. And then go to that D chord. Again, I'm keeping the bottom two locked. If you want to take your pinky off, that's fine. But I'll keep my bottom two locked to stabilize and make the chord change really easy so I can focus on strumming. Press that third string, second fret, and strum the bottom four. And the up strum's always the same. It's just the bottom two or three strings. Don't worry about... Like I said, I see a lot of beginners when I teach in person. I don't teach now in person back when I did. Keep that pick so straight. So then they're hitting too many strings on the way up. It's a choppy... You gotta learn a, a wrist flow, an angle of the pick. Down, down, up, up, down, down. I even tell a lot of beginners, particularly kids when they're starting, my, all you parents out there can thank me for this when I used to teach in person. Don't worry about strumming so loud either. Do a softer strum. I recommend for a beginner, just stay right there. Go between the G, C, and D chord. We're going to strumming down, down, up, up, down, up, switch. After you get a little, a little fancier, just do down strums. This is kind of like the chop strum or the palm mute. If you're fancy enough, if you're fancy enough to do a palm mute, knock yourself out. If you're a beginner, you probably can't do that yet. Just kind of keep your hand off. Again, keep that pick angled up. I'm treating my sorrow. I'm treating my shame. I'm laying it down. Joy of the That song, uh, it's a praise and worship song called Trading My Sorrows. That song is what catapulted me to the next level with YouTube and the reason I'm here, to be honest with you, teaching lessons today. So I'm so thankful for that song. I love playing it. All it is is G, C, E minor, D. G, C, E minor, D. Over and over. <laughs> Anyway, that's your lesson for today, guys. Thank you all so much for the support. Again, please help your boy out. Support your boy with CountrySongTeacher.com. All one word. All the links are in the bio. CountrySongTeacher.com. If you cheaper, I'm telling you guys, this is cheaper than one guitar lesson in person. I get your four chord songbook, ten bucks, and digital um, digital strumming DVD, hour and a half DVD. Just go over there. So what happens? As soon as you hit send the money through PayPal, I instantly email you all the links and access to my different programs, that kind of thing. So. Thank y'all so much. Everybody supported me already. I can't tell y'all enough how awesome the life that you all give me. I mean that, man. I hope my lessons are beneficial. And I'm so, so, so thankful for the opportunity that you guys and gals that subscribe, watch my videos, share my videos on social media, uh, smash the like button, by the way. So I can't say thanks enough, man. I hope I can bring kind of the, the Bible says word to call it, be the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hid. I, my goal, as much as, teach this guitar or instrument to you all is to shine the light of God through all your life. Have a positive, fun video to watch and just we learn some guitar on the side, right? I love you. Smash that like button. Check out the website, countrysongteach.com. Till the next time, holla. Till, till the next time, cut that out. I was getting tongue twisted in. <laughs>